this is another problem, I guess, with the Western paradigm. And I feel in some ways the Islamic um, Islamic license, shall I say, it's not the Islamic paradigm, but the license um, allows for it better. <laughs> I feel because the Islamic license to uh, multiple relationships, plural relationships, what it allows is, like the Hadith says, you see, Zur Ghibban Tazdad Hubban. It's a beautiful Hadith. That leave a gap before you see each other. It will increase you in love. That You see, because when you're constantly in people's face, I don't know how, it's it's got to be frustrating, isn't it? Because you... You annoy people, and I'm sure you annoy them as much as they annoy you. It's a human thing. So when people see with a gap, so they they they, they they're eager to see the other person, and it kind of it results in more perpetuity, more kind of a longevity of that relationship. You so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that <laughs> everybody has to enter into polygamous religion. <laughs> it doesn't have to be. That's not the only way that could happen. It could just be that people have isolated residences. But sure, that's one paradigm, a license. That's not a paradigm. I guess it's a license that Islam allows. But it, the, the current thing, I think, is, is clos somewhat claustrophobic. Um, <laughs> you nutter, nutter. <laughs> oh, people will be like, what the hell did Mufti just say there? Well, uh, I'm not saying you have to do it. <laughs> I'm just saying it's interesting, isn't it, that this paradigm of having a gap, that distance makes the heart grow fonder. 